Greetings guys, and yes I may look like I'm wearing the same outfit as last video, but I'm not, I'm just wearing the same exact sweater. And yes, it is very big on me, but I got it at Ross, so what do you expect? This video is sort of a little rant for me, I've been holding in this rant all the time, and every time I tell myself it's not worth making a video about it, I always tell myself no. And I don't know why I keep doing this, but I always tell myself no, and um, but then it keeps coming, it keeps happening again, it keeps getting me mad, and then I'm like, okay. So yesterday it happened again, and I was like, fucking fine, I'll do it. So, this involves me bringing back an old segment that I thought what I would never bring back, and I will. So here it is, story time with Krishna. Well, my little rant is, my, is about public transportation, or maybe the bus, usually the bus. So, I am not a big fan of taking the bus, and I hate taking the bus, because... Everyone smells in there. I, I know it's pretty like weird, but like I don't know. I really hate the bus because everyone like smells terrible. They smell like artichoke and combined with like semen. Casual stuff that people smell in the bus. So, <sighs> so <laughs> yes, the bus. It is terrible for me. I hate it. It's the worst thing ever. Some people may like it, but me, I hate it. I tolerate it in the day. In the day, it's like whatever. I don't, I don't care. But in the night, recently I've, I've been having to take the bus at night, and it has been fucking hell every time. Okay, that first time I took the motherfucking bus, oh my god, there was this one fat guy. He was like tremendously fat, so fat they couldn't even fit through the damn bus. <sighs> so he was walking through, he was like struggling, pushing everyone, and then he, and he was carrying a bottle of. I have no idea what the fuck he was carrying. It was a, it was a, it was a paper bag. And obviously, you know what's inside a paper bag. It's probably candy, candy for everyone. No, it was liquor. Liquor that I, that made him worse. So it was a drunk, super duper fat guy. And he was bumping into everyone and he was talking and talking the whole entire road. I take 40 minutes to get to, get to fucking from my school to my house. And he was talking about motherfucking Jesus. I don't know why the fuck he loves Jesus if he fucking drinks. I don't think you're supposed to drink. You like Jesus? I'm not sure. But, um, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to, but that fool was fucking wasted. Like, damn. And he was talking about Jesus, about how caterpillars are made, about a bunch of stupid stuff that they didn't really care about. Even with my headphones on, I couldn't even freaking, I could still hear him. It was terrible. And I just kept talking and talking and talking. The bus driver just sat there. Didn't do anything about it. He didn't kick him out. I wish he did, but hey, it's fucking 6 o'clock. It was 6 o'clock in the freaking night. And that guy was, ugh. Who gets drunk at 6 in the night? Who gets, who goes out at night? She's supposed to go home. Get a drink. Go home. <sighs> but yeah, she was in there. He was talking the whole entire way. I was trying to enjoy myself. Some day to, a day to remember. Some music. Bless the fall. Presenting. But no, I was talking the whole entire way. He was talking to like different people every time. I was here talking to some old lady, to some old person, to me. Well, to, didn't get as far to me, but he, he was talking to everyone. They were like, yeah, nigga, and all that shit. Sorry, sorry, said that word, but it's quote unquote, he would say that word more, more, more. He would say that word way too many times. And it was just terrible. And there's not now. Story number two. So, next story is happened, I think, last week. Okay, so I was in the bus. I went inside. Some freaking black guy comes in with like some backpack and like 20,000 layers of clothing. He sits right next to me. And you can guess where this story goes. He's, he's in the bus and then he's in his iPod. He takes out his phone and he starts playing Candy Crush. I was like, okay, it's pretty casual. And then, then later on, playing and he's just doing stuff like awake and stuff and then he falls the fuck asleep okay so here's I, I always I, I love sitting in the very corner like here's the, here's two seats in the bus I always sit on the wait the bus is usually facing this way so I always sit to the to the right right in the corner on the little seats that are left that are that are topped I don't know the fuck you know what I'm talking about it's like line and they start going up, and then they go back up. One, I like sitting on these parts, all the way in there, close to the window. Anyways, so yeah, that's the scenario that I'm trying to draw. I was right there, and then the guy falls the hell asleep, and he like, so the, so I was like, okay, he fell asleep. He's probably not, he, he's probably not even asleep. 
So I was like, okay, he's not asleep. Good. Or I thought he wasn't asleep. I thought it was just like bored. So he just put his head down like normal people would. But he was fucking asleep. Like, he wasn't snoring, but he was fucking knocked the hell out. And okay, so I was like, okay, I was in the way. So I was thinking to myself, like, okay, how the hell am I gonna get out of here? It's like, oh shit. So I, I fucking, I look around, and then I was like, should I tell him when I'm at the bus? When I'm at the, should I try to mo try to tell him, excuse me, when I'm close to the, when I'm a block away, or should I tell him beforehand? So I was thinking like the whole way ever, ever since he fucking started falling asleep. It's like, should I like wait for him? So then it goes closer and then I finally came to the idea that I should that I should get up before. Before I, just, I tell him excuse me then I get up and I go way down the little passageway to get out. So I I'm like five blocks away and good thing I did not tell him before the bus stop cuz I pushed him and I'm like excuse me and he's asleep. He he does nothing. I was like okay he, he didn't wake up. And I push him more like, excuse me, mister, and like, nothing, he nothing wakes up. I push him harder, he still doesn't wake up. My stop is very close, I'm like a block away right now. Um, no, I'm like two blocks. Then I push him more. Everyone's staring the hell at me, because they know I'm trying to get up, but he can't. So everyone's just staring at me, and I'm pushing, I'm pushing, he doesn't get up. As much as I try, I freaking can't push him. And then, my, my stop is coming, so I was like, fucking shit, what do I do? I push him, I push him, as, and well, I don't push him hard, but I was like pushing him more. Like, excuse me, excuse me, mister, mister, boom, boom, and he wasn't even asleep. He, he was asleep, he was actually asleep. I didn't think someone could actually fall asleep in a bus. Well, you can, but I didn't think people actually did it. They was just like, st close his eyes, just too, like, you know. <laughs> but yeah, he, and then he couldn't get up, so I was like, oh my fucking god, what am I gonna do? So, I had to resort to fucking getting on top of the seat, getting on top and swinging to the other side, and then I get down. And then I went to the seat in front of me, good thing it was empty, if it was full, oh my god, I would have never fucking left. I would have, oh my god, I didn't even want to imagine how it would have been like, uh, yeah. So, I had to jump over the seat, I almost tripped too, people, I heard someone laughing at me because I almost tripped. But yes, everyone was staring at me. That makes it even worse. See? That's why I hate taking the bus at night. And then, I turn around, he's awake. I fucking push him all around as much as I could. And, be, and that doesn't wake him up. And just me barely going to the other seat wakes him up. He's a, if he, if he, if he, I could have robbed him on the spot. And he would have freaking not woken up. So I had to jump over it and everyone was staring at me. And then, ugh. Those are two of the stories. And two examples of why I hate the bus. The bus is, at night, is just so damn terrible. Like, the reason I actually want a car is to get away from the freaking bus. Like, in the, in the, in the morning, it's okay. Like, I can't, no one's as, no one's as stupid or motherfucking crazy as, as in the night. And in the night, is like, it's like fucking hell. So, those are my two stories of what happened ever since I started taking the bus at night. And I plan on, and hopefully there'll be more stories on the bus again. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yes, I feel better now that I ranted about it. Finally did this video, it's been so many weeks that I've been trying, wanting to do this video. But ever since these two situations happened, I was like, fucking shit, I'm done. I'm down, I'm gonna do it, and I did it, and here I am. So, if you guys like this video, and if you guys ever had any terrible experience with the buses, please tell me in the comments below, or you could tell me weird experience you've had. I don't know, I just want to know a weird experience that you've had. And remember to subscribe to my video and remember to look, to watch my 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 Q&D. Uh, it's, it's either going to be a new Q&D or my last one because it depends. I don't know when I'm going to put this up. But yes, put this, this is my Q&D. Remember to subscribe to my Instagram and Twitter in in the description below and remember to subscribe because if you don't subscribe then I will pull out your eyes and sell them to the immigration. Fair wins.